are having a party today. I've got some decorations I'm going to share. We're going to do a food buffet and I've got some gifts. We better put this sign out here. People are on their way, so let's get going. My video is sponsored by Cricut. Our first party decoration is going to be for our food buffet. The food is always the best part, so we want to make it look as festive as we possibly can. I have this sign stand that I made a long time ago. I made it out of some stair spindles and some leftover wood, and then I put some curtain rings over the top. The curtain rings are going to hold our sign, which we are going to make in just a minute. But before we do that, we've got to make it look so festive. And we're going to do that with some balloons. Now, balloon garlands are all over the place right now. They are so popular. A balloon garland is a great way to add a wow factor without spending a lot of money. You can get any balloons that you want, any color, any size, any shape. I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat today. I bought this package of balloons from Michael's so that they could be easily assembled because sometimes when you're throwing it a party, time is of the essence and that's what's going on today. So what I'm gonna do with my balloons is I'm going to blow them up and then these balloons have this little tab on the end of them and all you need to do is just tie them together. So that's what I did. I tied all these balloons together in a long garland. To attach my balloons to my sign, I'm going to use some fishing line. Now I just took this fishing line and I wrapped it around the balloons right where they were tied together. And then I tied it to my sign stand. I did it all the way across the top and then I got some more segments of fishing line and I wrapped it around those balloon knots and I tied it to the side and down to the bottom. One nice thing about a balloon garland is that you can do it about a week in advance. So if you're pressed for time on the day of the party, no worries, get it done beforehand and it'll be ready for the special day. Now that our balloon stand is almost finished, we are going to move on and create our sign. Now I'm gonna make my sign out of a Dollar Tree chopping mat. Now I've made signs out of these Dollar Tree chopping mats before. This one's gonna be a little different because we're going to add a vinyl decal to the center. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project. Then I clicked on Images. In the search bar, I typed in Bun in the Oven because this is a baby shower. Then I selected this one and hit Add to Canvas. I sized it to the size I needed that would fit on my chopping mat and hit Make It. Then I selected Without a Mat because I am using a Cricut Smart Vinyl Permanent. I clicked confirm and then continue. And then the material, of course, is our Smart Vinyl Permanent. Then I clicked more on the pressure. I pressed the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into my maker. And then I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit that flashing arrow button again, which released my mat. I wanted to add some extra embellishments to my sign, so I clicked on images, and in the search bar, I typed in cinnamon roll. A few options came up. I selected this one and hit add to canvas, and then I sized it to the size I needed that would be perfect for my sign. Then I hit images again, and this time I typed in a rolling pin. I scrolled down, selected this one, hit add to canvas, and then I sized it to the size that I needed. Once it was the perfect size, I clicked the bun in the oven and deleted it because we already have that made. Then I hit next and I am going to be doing this on a mat. I hit continue and the material I selected was a premium mat. And then I hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into my maker. Then I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit the flashing arrow button, which released my mat. Then I took my material and I weeded away the excess vinyl around my design. Then I took my transfer tape and I put it over the vinyl. I pressed it firmly to the vinyl and then I removed it from the backing. And now I can put all of my pieces on the center of my chopping mat. So I placed them in the center of the chopping mat, scraped them really firmly to the chopping mat with my scraper tool, and then I was able to remove the transfer tape. 
How cute is this sign? I absolutely love it. And bun in the oven can go for a boy or a girl, so it's gender neutral. You can use it for both parties. Now, before we add our choppy mat to our sign stand, I'm gonna take these little mini rolling pins that I purchased at Michael's a couple years back, and I'm just gonna nestle them right in between the balloons. The balloons are tight enough together that all I had to do was just put them inside of the balloons right in between them, and it held these rolling pins in place. time to add our chopping mat and because our curtain rings have those little clamps on it it's really easy just to open those clamps up and put that chopping mat right inside I love the way that this looks it really took a minimal amount of effort to create this adorable sign I'm going to put it in the center of my buffet for a standout focal point Add some height and variety to my buffet table what I like to use are these plant stands I purchased these at Walmart for a few dollars and I love the way that they look and all you need to do is take your platter of goodies and place it right on top so I've got my brownies right here and come on over here to this side I've got another plant stand right here and I can add some Rice Krispie treats to this side and now we have a great height variety. The party is in full swing, and here I am with a very familiar face. I know many of you know our darling Natalie. So we're just enjoying some food and some good conversation, and we're going to open presents in just a bit. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for the perfect gift to give, and a baby shower is no exception. So we're going to create a custom onesie to give our mom-to-be. I purchased a set of three onesies. I'm going to use this pink one, and we're going to customize it. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project. Then I went and clicked on Images, and in the search bar, I typed in Crib Hair, Don't Care. I clicked on this cute saying and hit Add to Canvas. Then I sized it to the size I needed. Then I selected the black bow layered underneath the pink bow and deleted it. Then I clicked Make It, and it sorted it onto my mat. I'm doing it without a mat. And I always forget to hit the mirror because this is an iron-on. So I hit mirror and then I selected my material and then I hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into the maker. Then I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit the flashing arrow button, which released my material. Now it's time for the second cut with the bows and the flowers. So I hit number two, then I selected my material and I hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into my Cricut Maker. Then I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. I hit the flashing arrow button when everything was done, which released my material. Now we can weed away the excess vinyl from our design. Then I took some scissors and I cut out those individual bows and flowers and the wording. And then I arranged it in the center of my onesie. Now I can take my easy press, which I had heated up to 330 degrees and set the timer for 30 seconds. And I placed it over the top of the vinyl. I hit that start button, which began the countdown. Once the 30 seconds was up, I removed the easy press and then I pulled back the protective coating from the vinyl. Look at how cute this onesie is. I'm so excited to give this to our mom-to-be and I think it's the perfect saying. I think it goes along with all of us, right? So mom hair don't care. <laughs> That's how I feel every morning. <laughs> in one of the most easy ways you can possibly do it. What I did was I took a banner that I already had. This is a wood banner and in the center of each of the wood pieces is a chalkboard rectangle. So all we're gonna do is we are going to take this existing banner and we are going to create some wording to go on each one of the rectangles. 
Now I'm going to be using some removable vinyl. So I can put these letters on this banner for right now, but I can take them off and use this banner over and over again in the future. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project, then I went to Text, and then I typed in O, then I hit Text again, and I typed in Baby. Then I selected O, and I went to the font, and I typed in Flirt, because the font I'm using is DJ Flirt. And then I selected Baby, and I did the same font for that. Then I sized my O and my Baby to the correct size that would fit on my banner. Once it was sized, I hit make it. It sorted it onto my mats. I am going to be using the mat, so I hit on the mat and confirm. And then I clicked on continue. Now I can select my material, which is a premium vinyl. And then I hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into the Cricut Maker. And then I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was done cutting, I hit that flashing arrow button, which removed the vinyl. Now I can remove the excess vinyl away from my lettering. Once that was done, I cut each of the letters into individual pieces. Then I put the transfer tape over the top, and now I can add each of the individual letters to each of the individual rectangles. So I put the vinyl in the rectangle. I took my scraper tool, I pressed it firmly, to the rectangle and then I removed the transfer tape. Easy peasy, look how cute this banner is. It did not take hardly any effort at all to create this custom piece. Now I'm going to hang it on my fireplace and we're going to add in some of those balloons that we have on our buffet table and we're going to add some of these cute little ribbons as well, which is gonna tie in our color scheme. To attach these to the garland, what I did was I got a rubber band and I wrapped it around the balloons in the center. Then I took the end of the garland, just that twine, and I put it right through the rubber band. And then I was able to tie it on each end of my mantle. Now on each end, I have a screw that I put in there for my garlands that I hang at Christmas because those garlands are so heavy. So I just tied this twine right around the screw on each one of the fireplace ends. And finally, I tied those ribbons right in the center of those balloons. The banners hung, the food is ready. The gifts are created, and now all we need to do is wait for our guests to arrive. What a fun time we had. The mom-to-be got some amazing presents. We had some tasty food and some great conversation. All in all, it was a success. Well, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe so I can share this with you. I hope you enjoyed decorating for this party with me today. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.